I have a bone to pick with you. All right. Last Go night, what do you, got? you yeah. said that Indiana yes. was more talented than UConn. Indiana went out. I never like, said that. UConn, I, you're, you're they struggled words. with Louisville. Then you went out and you said that Alex Caravan has no chance to be a first round pick. And then he went out today. He dropped 20 points against Texas. He had three Kara buzzer beaters. Uh, to be able to, to preserve the lead every time that Texas made a run. Caravan stepped up. He made a big shot. I think you have that to answer for. You have uh, said that you don't believe that UConn can go back-to-back. At this point in the season, I don't know if there are five teams in college basketball that have proven themselves to be uh, as impressive as UConn has been throughout the start of the season. Why do you hate UConn? All right, first of all, you're you're making <laughs> shit up. You're completely making shit up. Now, I, I did say I don't not, think not a, For the record, true. not completely. Only like probably 75% Parts of what I said was true. Yeah, you're, you're, you're exaggerating. Um, Alex Caravan is a hell of a, of a basketball player. I do not think he'll be a first-round pick. I think he'll be picked in the second round. Um, UConn is a very good team. They're without Castle, who's, who's super important to them and is going to be really good for them when he gets back healthy second half of the year. Texas was without uh, its two bigs, Caden Shedrick and, and Dylan DeSue. So I think you caught them at the right time. I'm not saying Texas was going to necessarily beat them. I think it would have been a really, really good game down the stretch if they were completely healthy. Um, I think they needed those two bigs more than UConn needs Castle. How's that? Does that make sense? Um, but again, Cam Spencer and Caravan were, were terrific, and they won with Klingon playing 13 minutes in foul trouble today for the most part. They didn't really need him that much because Texas didn't have any bigs that could do a damn thing. Yeah, it was actually a better matchup to play Samson Johnson here, John, just because he's more of like the perimeter pace and space, not a pace and space, but he's a, he's like a movement like five Mitchell. as opposed to like a big. It's like Dylan yeah. Mitchell. Yeah, that's exactly he, what he, it is. And, and Dylan Mitchell went <laughs> off. I'm sorry, go ahead, John. Yep. No, no, he, he brought the energy. I mean, I think when he came in the game, that's when things – kind of took off for UConn. I mean, they started – they looked like a well-oiled machine. I mean, Cam Spencer was one of my favorite players at Rutgers last year. So, for them to, like, get him, like, it's kind of crazy. Like, the rich get richer. Newton's running the show. He's a pure point guard to me. I love the way he plays. Caravan almost seemed like every time they needed a three, he hit one. Um, they're going to be tough to beat, man. Uh, they looked really good today. And, and shout out to Texas. UConn was giving them blow – after blow mm-hmm. and they kept fighting back they stayed into the game shots weren't falling shit shout out to my guy dylan mitchell tampa florida native you know i'm like f- we finally got to see Breakout him game. be more aggressive hopefully he turns the corner right like i've never seen him be this aggressive shooting fadeaways and kind of de- you know coming through the lane and slapping demanding for the ball that's the type of stuff i like to see from him because when they get those two bigs back i think they're only going to be better for it and uh this was a high level game. I enjoyed watching this game. It was like an NBA game. It was it was, it was high level mm-hmm. offense and and athleticism. Uh, it was fun. 